Joining us now with reaction analysis about this election and the perspective of what's going on on the SUNY Oswego campus, Dr. Allison Rank, that's where she's a political science professor. And, and how have the students uh, reacted to this really unusual campaign this year? Yeah, I think it's interesting. Though I've seen two different types of reactions based on two different classes that I'm running. So with my introductory students and in Intro to American Government, they're really interested in what is normal or not normal <laughs> about mm -hmm. this campaign. Um, so they come in saying a lot of things about this has never happened in American politics before and we have to sort of slow down and say, well, we've had populist movements before and here's how this happens after waves of immigration and economic downturn, these types of messages in American history. Um, and then with another group of students, I'm actually working on running a nonpartisan voter registration drive. And so with that group of students, it's been very much, we're not interested in how students are voting. We just want to make sure that as many students' voices are heard as possible. And they have been incredibly nose to the grindstone all about the campaign, but much less focused on campaign messaging. Mm. A lot of the millennials originally in the campaign were backing Bernie Sanders yes. uh, before Hillary Clinton got the nomination. Yeah. What are you hearing from students in your class in terms of millennial vote? Are they now shifting towards Hillary Clinton? Are there Donald Trump supporters among them? I definitely have students that are in both camps. I would say um, on the whole, I hear more from students who are interested in Hillary Clinton, but it's not um, necessarily a sort of fervored, I'm so excited to get out. There just mm. tends to be a lot of, I'm going to vote, but I can't wait for this season to be over. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think that each of those campaigns, Trump and Clinton campaign, did they do something right to attract millennials or did they do something wrong and not doing enough to get that younger group? Well, I think that it was going to be hard to ever capture sort of the magic of the Barack Obama campaign with the younger group, in particular just because he was the first person to do a set of things online that spoke to young people. Mm -hmm. Some things that I think that the Clinton camp did right was picking up the components of Bernie Sanders' platform that really spoke to young people in terms of student debt relief. Mm -hmm. Sort of picking that up and immediately running with that coming out of the party platform discussions I think was great for her with young voters. Uh, in terms of the Trump campaign, I think that he's doing a great job in some ways of speaking to what I think about is the forgotten young voters, which are the 50% of our young people who don't actually go to college. We tend to think about the youth vote mm. as specifically young people who are in college, but that's actually a not that many of our young people in that demographic of 18 to 29. And I think his message is really working for that set of individuals. Once uh, this group is looking towards the next president, whether that's in four years or eight years, what are those issues that are going to be driving them to focus on, in on a candidate? Yeah, I mean, I think it's different if you're talking about this same cohort eight years from now. Um, when, I think, they'll, be, they'll be grown up a bit by then. Yeah, yeah, I think a lot about that depends on what the housing market starts to look like. So traditionally, the idea is that you try to capture young people when they're in college, but if they don't get captured then, they're going to get captured by the time they're in their 30s because they're buying homes, they're mm -hmm. having kids. Paying taxes. Paying yeah. taxes, right? Sort of the this, this set of adult markers that start to lead you into voting. But we're seeing that be delayed. And so the question comes, if those young people aren't actually buying homes, if they're not taking on mortgages, but they don't have the type of careers that lead them into voting, then it's really unclear, I think, where those young people end up in terms of voting if they're not getting captured early. Well, Dr. Ellison Rank, thank you. Great insight into the younger voters uh, that are a big part of this campaign tonight. Thank you. All right, enjoy watching the results come in. We'll